lest anyone should boast, given freely as a gift to all who obey him. We understand that if you do not obey him, it is made manifest or made obvious that you do not believe. In this state, you should expect no good thing from the Most High. However, anything that you do get, whether it be a gift of tongues or a gift of prophecy or any supernatural experience that you may have, it can and it will be used against you in the day of judgment. With that said, peace to the saints that are in the room, to the saints that couldn't make it, but no peace to the wicked. The only thing they, we say to them is, uh, what do we say to them? Repent so that they might, you know what I'm saying, turn away from their sins and not go to and take their butt to hell. What do I usually say, though? Uh, repent that they, that they might live. That they might live. Uh, yeah. Good. Nice Goodness gracious. She ain't been listening for like... Ten years. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we've been doing this five years. Sitting over there. Uh, let's go to uh, Romans chapter, uh, what, 15, verse 4? It's Romans chapter 15. Give me verse 4. Appreciate the most high. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even got to give us the presence of mind to even want to do nothing like this. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people don't even have a presence of mind. A lot of people, a lot of people out there searching for God. They want to know God. You know what I'm saying? They really want to know. Uh, before we grab that, grab uh, Matthew chapter seven. Give me Matthew chapter seven, verse. Uh, give me Matthew chapter seven. Give me about verse uh, twenty. Is what I want. Give me Matthew chapter seven. Give me. Let's see what twenty talking about. It whispered a little bit. Let me see what we're looking at. I feel like I might want something a little earlier. Maybe like fifteen. Maybe like uh, I think maybe like ten even. What ten say? Uh, or if he ask a fish, will he give? Nah, it ain't what I'm looking for. Let me see what fifteen say. The straight gate. Yeah, straight gate. Thirteen. All right, so this is Matthew chapter. This is Matthew chapter uh, seven, verse thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. So he said, "Enter ye in at the straight gate." For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction. Uh huh. And many there be which go in therein. He said, "If you looking, if you looking for destruction, or oh, that gate wide." Right, that way is broad. Like it's it's wide. Like you can get there. I mean, you can get in there. He's trying to tell us, you know, it's easy to get in there. You know what I'm saying? You ever had like, you know what I'm saying? You ever been to like an amusement park? We talking about vacation. You know what I'm saying? You ever been to an amusement park and you go and like it's always like a big open broad. You know what I'm saying? Like area. And you just got a whole bunch of people pouring in. But as they pour in, you notice that it starts to get more narrow and narrow. Then you got these little gates up front. And you see all them things start getting plugged up and it start getting and getting to a line. So, I mean, to get there, I mean, it feel like, oh, yeah, anybody can get in. Then all of a sudden you get closer and you turn into lines. You know what I'm saying? Because they get narrow at a certain point. And they do that because they want to restrict how many people. You, you ain't trying to have a whole bunch of people just rush you and get into the park, right? You want everybody to pay. You know what I'm saying? It's a security risk. So what you're going to do is you're going to limit it and you got to walk and push that thing. You know what I'm saying? That thing that go yeah, clink, clink, yeah, clink, clink. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they got it anymore back, you know what I'm saying, when I last went. They go clink, clink, you know what I'm saying? That thing counting. You know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to keep counting. Everybody, and every, in order to do that, you can't have six, seven people coming through at the same time. Everybody got to come through one gate. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he's trying to say. He's trying to tell you. Oh, if you, if you want to get, you trying to go, oh, it's broad. That gate is wide. Anybody can get in there. You know what I'm saying? But you got to enter in through the straight gate. That means the narrow gate. Keep going. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which lead unto life, and few there be that find it. Uh huh. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are. Right. Mm, that ain't what I'm looking for. Where is it? You saying uh, many, many shall search. Many, was it many or? Uh, ah, uh, yeah, it's right? like. Many. No, it's uh. It might be in seven though. Look around in seven. I don't know why I feel like it is in seven somewhere. I felt like it should be. What, what about right before thirteen? What's what's what uh? uh therefore, all things what you do to men do, you know, do 
about to, you know. Yeah, hey, okay. Do, 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 do. Um. Uh, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a tough time trying to feed, find that. Maybe 13. Matthew 13? Maybe. Let's look at Matthew 13 real quick. Let's just see. I don't know why I felt like it was seven. Yeah, no, it ain't Matthew 13. Yeah, Matthew 13, all poor parable. That's all right. Let's go back to Romans chapter 4. I mean, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. All right? Because it's important for us to know there's a whole lot of people out here trying to look. You know what I'm saying? Only few going to find it, though. But, you know what I'm saying? We, we didn't find it, but it's in the book. The, the, the man tell you, many, many, many. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, that is in, uh, in 7. It's a, he's, a, he's a many in that day. Well, I think that's what I was thinking of, but that's not what I was actually looking for. But he said, many in that day will be calling on me, saying, Lord, Lord. You know what I'm saying? He said, many of them. So it's, it's going to be a whole lot of people looking for the man. That don't mean they had a presence of mind to actually come learn about the man and can actually come, come obey him. Right? There's a lot of people going to church. And not all of them are going to church just, you know, being hypocrites just to be hypocrites. Some of them are being hypocrites, but they want to actually, you know what I'm saying? They're actually looking to actually get something. They just not getting it. And that's just because the most high God didn't give it to them to be have it given to them. Right? This thing is a two way street, all of it. Right? Everything, everything that we get, we get we get it first from the most high God. We get all our obedience, everything we get, we get it from the most high God. And at the same time, it's all our choice. You know what I'm saying? That's, our, that's where the Christian get it wrong. The Christian try to they know that, you know what I'm saying? They they read that stuff in there saying, you know what I'm saying, nobody can come to, to me unless God draw them first. They know all that stuff. So what they do is they try to take the responsibility off of them and basically say, I ain't got to live perfectly. I ain't got to live. I mean, everybody make mistakes. Don't you know it's God? God is the one. God do this. You know what I'm saying? Try to shift. Really what they're doing is shifting all the blame to God. So if they mess up, well, really it's God's fault. No, nah, you, nah, you lost your darn mind. You know what I'm saying? You ain't lost your darn mind. It's your darn fault, right? You got to obey now. If you choose to disobey, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Most high God just didn't give it to you, right? He didn't give it to you. Your butt going to go right to darn hell, too. You know what I'm saying? Because if you wanted it, he would have gave it to you. If you would have obeyed his word, you look at what he already gave. He already gave you the word. He gave you enough already. You know what I'm saying? You just sat down. You act like you wanted it in the real way. Oh, he'll give it to you. That's his promise, right? This is uh, Romans chapter 15. Give me verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written, written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right? So everything that we read, we, what we've been reading, you know what I'm saying, all the way from Genesis and now we're wrapping up Deuteronomy, all of this was written for our learning. It was written for us to be able to understand the book. Remember, it's two things that we come to the word that leads us to, the, to Yahushua, to the Messiah. Two things. We got to hear and we got to learn. You know what I'm saying? When you hear the word, you have to get an understanding of the word. You know what I'm saying? So everything that we read from the Old Testament, everything that we read from the New Testament, is written for us to understand it. It's written for our learning. All right? So that's what we come here to do. We come here to try to get an understanding, try to make sure that the Most High God can bring us to a place of peace and a place of perfect understanding, which surpasses all. I mean, a uh, perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. And uh, by doing that, you know what I'm saying, we can actually move actually get something going, actually have confidence. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like it's nothing like being able to walk out there with confidence to these people. Everybody standing against what we believe, everybody everybody out here doing stuff contrary to what we like and what we uh, you know what I'm saying, what God approve of. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing like having confidence. You know what I'm saying? These people gonna doubt it. They always gonna ask, how you know? I mean how you know what you believe is right? How you know what you teach is right? They always gonna ask that, but it's nothing like having that confidence and look at them because I read it. What you talking about? You want to read, read it yourself. All right? That's all they're looking for. They ain't never been exposed to nothing like this. They ain't never been exposed to somebody that actually believe the word. That's why they look at us different. You have somebody, you have somebody, I mean, they've been exposed to people that say they believe the word. That's different, though. When, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You got some, I mean, you actually don't cuss. I mean, I, I mean, we didn't see, now listen, we didn't see some, some grandmas and some mamas and all that stuff. Don't be cussing. But then they slip up and they say that cuss word, then you know they serious. Ooh, Big Mama cuss. Now, she mad for real. You know what I'm saying? When Big Mama cuss, now, you know she mad because Big Mama don't usually cuss. You know what I'm saying? You get that, and it don't, it don't strike you like, oh, she going, she, Big Mama going her butt to hell. That don't even, it, 
That ain't cross your darn mind. What strike your mind, you got fear for Big Mama because that's a godly woman and y'all made her cut. That's our mind. That was our mind. We never so everything to us is a, everything to us got compromised when it comes to God. Go sit your butt down. What's wrong with you, boy? You lost your darn mind? The book being preached. Boy, you better sit down and listen or get your butt out there. Right? So we look at these, we look at these, and we looking like everything that we see got compromise in it. Everything we see, somebody, you know what I'm saying, somewhere along the way, they just, you know what I'm saying, they do something a little different. And we make some type of, well, you know what? You know what I'm saying? It's impossible. I mean, it's impossible to be completely without sin. That's a darn lie. What I want from Peter? Give me Second Peter chapter, is it? Give me First Peter chapter 4. No, I don't, want, I don't want one. Give me, give me First Peter chapter four. I think that's what it won't. Cause Second Peter only go to three. To no, not that. That's good too. All right, it's important that we understand the book, and we don't just believe what these people. If we believe what we see, man, we putting a lot over God if we do that. I mean, you can't point to nothing that's darn right. You ain't never seen nothing that's right. How you gonna see? I mean, how you gonna believe what you see over what you what you read from the book? I mean, you can do it. I'm not telling you you can't. You can do it. It might even feel logical to do it. I understand, but just don't say you believe the book if you do it. I be trying to tell. I mean, just just be honest. Be just be honest with yourself. You ain't gonna be honest with everybody. You can tell all these lies to everybody else. Just be honest with yourself. I'm on my butt right to hell. That's what you got to do. Otherwise, I mean, what are you, what you going to come back from? You actually start believing you good, you okay, and God is blessing you, and you walking in the imagination of your own heart. How you come back from that? When was the last time you seen somebody, if, if MapQuest, if they doing Google Maps, and that thing is telling them, go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. When was the last time you seen somebody say, let me make a U-turn so I can get to my destination? That don't make sense. If you believe you're going in the right direction, why would you change? If you believe you're doing the right thing and what you're doing is okay and it's acceptable, why would you change? You better convince yourself. Your salvation to be in that. That's believing the word. That's called fear of God. This is uh, first, uh, first Peter chapter 4. Give me verse 1. Watch what the book say. That's a dirty foot. That's a dirty foot boy. Look at that. I'd be ashamed of this, so. You don't put no socks or shoes on. I don't know about y'all. This first uh, Peter chapter four, verse one. For as much then as the Messiah has suffered for us in the flesh, uh -huh. arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Uh -huh. For he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. He say, He that has suffered in the flesh has what from sin? Ceased from I, sin. I don't know what ceased means. What do you mean it don't mean could, could stop all sins? It's impossible to be without sin. We didn't say be without sin. We said stop sinning. Most I got to get rid of your own sin. So now you're a lie anyway because now it's possible to be without sin. Keep going. Watch this. Just so, I mean, just so they make sure. Because Peter, you know, most I got always cover itself. They could have stopped there when no, it says cease from sin. That's singular tense. You have a sin that you will cease from. Okay, keep going. That he no longer should live the rest of his life, rest of his time in the flesh, to the lust of men, but to the will of God. I got that. Now he covered all them things. Just, so you, just in case you didn't understand it, don't live for the rest of your life for the lust of men. That cover all them things. Okay. Just straighten up. That's what he's trying to tell you. He'll take care of the past sins. We learned that in Romans chapter 3. Roman chapter 3, grab Roman chapter 3. And after that, after we grab Roman chapter, I mean, we're just going to do a little talking before we get back to Deuteronomy. After we grab Roman chapter 3, then, uh, then uh, grab 1 John chapter uh, 1. It's clear. Don't let these people try to act like, oh, it's so confusing. It's not, no, it ain't that confusing. I mean, some stuff, is, I ain't going to lie to you. It's some stuff in the Bible that's a little confusing. You know, you know what I'm saying? You don't understand. It's some stuff that still confuses me. You know what I'm saying? And I've been reading that thing back to back to back to back to back for five years, for six years. You know what I'm saying? So it's, like, it's still some stuff that confuse you. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to act like there's nothing in the book that'll confuse you now. But now when the book trying to tell you what's right and what's wrong, when it comes when it come down to how you should behave, 
that thing pretty clear. You know what I'm saying? We can stop all that line talking about that thing pretty clear. You know, it's just a matter of what part you want to do or not. You know what I'm saying? That thing pretty clear about what you should do though. Keep going. This is uh this is uh this is uh this is uh what I say? Romans three. This is Romans chapter three. I probably won't verse. What's the last verse? Thirty-one. So give me Romans chapter three, verse twenty-one. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifest, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Uh huh. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Yahushua the Messiah, unto all upon all them that believe. Uh huh. For there is no difference. Uh huh. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. He said, "All have sinned and come short of the glory of God." They think that means it's impossible to stop. Uh huh. That's a fact, though. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means you done. You know what I'm saying? All the sin, your butt done. You sin, you come short, your butt done. Let's see. Keep going. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahushua the Messiah, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past. The remission of sins. What remission mean, Daniel? For the remission of sin. What does it mean? Take it away. That means you take them things away. He said, let's take away the sins that are what? Past. Present and what else? Past. No, no, no. You, what version you got, Daniel? Because he, obviously he reading under the wrong. We need the new standardized Christianized version. <laughs> it's going to tell you if you read from that version, past, present, and future sins he'll remit from you. Read it one more time. Let's see what the King James talking about. I don't know why y'all read the King James. For the remissions of sins that are past uh -huh. through the forbearance of God. What do you mean, past, present? You never read past, present, and future. Why would we teach people that? I mean, let's just take a step back. Because I know, I know we be the bad guys sometimes. But let's take a step back. If the book say past sins, if Peter told us sins and you have to cease and leave the, live the rest of your life not towards the lust of men. Right? If that's what we just read in this book, I didn't make it up. Why are we teaching people? What, in, what are the intentions of a pastor to teach a person that your past, present, and future sins are gone? I know I'm the bad guy, right? When I get to telling people, eh, no, you got to turn away from sin. I know that's, eh, that's good. Everybody hates me. That's good. But let's think about it logically. If the book actually say that and somebody else is telling you, no, nah, you good, past, present, and future, who got the bad intentions? I mean, what could be the good intention of telling you a lie about the book? Making you feel like you're better off than what you really are. Maybe, I mean, maybe, I mean, maybe he just wants you to feel good. Okay. I want you to be good. You know what I mean? I want you to get to a place where you can serve the most high God and be confident in it. You ain't got to work. You ain't got to spend every darn weekend at church. And right after church, you feeling like, am I saved? I mean, you be, you be bold at church. Pastor gets to sing that word, oh, thank God, and I believe Jesus. Oh, oh, oh thank you. You know what I'm saying? You be feeling that thing. Right? And then right after church, something happened. You know what I'm saying? You get that text message. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You go, you know what I'm saying? Be around your homeboys, start smoking that weed. You know what I'm saying? It's time to go out. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, man, I want to change, but I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I'm still me. You know what I'm saying? You know that's our line. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I mean, now I'm still me, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm still me, so I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Still, you still my friend. Nah, I ain't trying to. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm still the same. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're going to go. I mean, no, I'm not going to do everything y'all doing. I'm still going to go out with y'all. That's still my boy. So, you know what I'm saying? You get out there. You know what I'm saying? Get to drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. The next thing you know, wake up the next morning. You didn't drink too much. And you just like, man, am I saved? That's not confidence. Give me uh First John. Just First John chapter 1. That's not confidence. Bro, you ever listen to Steve Harvey morning show? Never listen to the Steve Harvey. Let me tell you, let me give you a list of things that I've never done. Mm, somewhere on there, the Steve Harvey morning show. Bro, like, like I'm gonna listen to the no, no. Steve Harvey. I, listen, I mean, I watch Price is Right. What's it called? I watch Family View. Yeah, yeah. That's quality television. They be, uh, the prank calls, man. <laughs> he be hitting the dude, be hitting him with the prank calls. And, like, he be like messing with like church people. <laughs> bro, they be cursing up a storm, bro. <laughs> I be like, man, hey, what he doing is exposing these folks. He think it's just funny games, but it's like, bro, them church folks be cursing up a storm. And you know what's funny? Ain't nobody got a problem with it. They don't. Ain't nobody got a problem. That thing kind of admirable. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what people like? People like to see that type of stuff, especially when you get like a pastor who at that moment, you know what I'm saying, just make them feel real and relatable. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's just like me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They they enjoy that type of stuff. They feel like that. I mean, my pastor, you see that happen? My pastor real. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're going to tell you. That thing, that thing endears them to him. Must be nice. Go ahead now, you're a real pastor. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna be in some real darn hell. This is uh this is uh first John chapter one. Give me about verse 18. That's a shout out to Dar. Let's see if we hit it. <laughs> watch it, watch the last verse, it'll be 19. If the last verse is 19, now I'm on 18. And we'd be asking people who like, you know what I'm saying? Can you watch your language? And they're like, you mean tell me you don't care? So I'm like, no. I saw it, folks. I saw it, but I think I was flabbergasted. There was only one person with darn sense out of the whole darn post. I'm like, I'm looking at the reason of these people. I'm looking like, what is wrong with y'all? I ain't gonna mention nobody name. Definitely some of them, cause some of them when I go around, they don't darn cuss. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be like, I'll be like, you know what I'm saying? No cut. Oh my bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you ain't never had this attitude with me. Since how you felt all along, I'm offended. You know what I'm saying? I'm offended. I was like, I don't know. That thing wild. I was asking a few questions, bro. They weren't really answered though. That thing, why wow, I was looking like it, like okay, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I was about to jump in there. I was like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. I ain't got time for this stuff. I gotta work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I it was kind of funny thing. to me. I wasn't even like really mad. I was, it was just flabbergasted. Like, it was just like funny, like wow. You know what I mean? I thought for sure, you know what I'm saying? You know, somebody, somebody like a knock, make a post like that. I thought for sure that thing was about to get all the likes in the world. Like, yeah, go sister. You know what I'm saying? I saw some of them coming. I said, the nerve of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You make these comments to me. <laughs> How dare you? I was flabbergasted. I was like, all right, for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all lying. Y'all some fronters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know you'll watch your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Out of respect. Talking all this time, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool. You know, we know we cool. You know what I'm saying? We, we yeah. all cool. They never, yeah. And if, when we was around them, they never really came off like that anyway. No, they didn't. You know what I'm saying? They do it out of respect. The truth is, they the ones even on that post respect us. You know what I'm saying? Respect her. You know what I'm saying? So, but, you know, it's just, you know. You know, it's just FBI. Right. FBI. Right. It's just you know, what I'm saying how people feel and all that stuff. We just gotta help people out. You know what I'm saying? Cause even them. You know what I'm saying? Even us. We we is in the same position. We wasn't in no darn different position. That sound like darn me. I'll be looking at. I'll be cringing every time Facebook remind me of something I said six, seven years ago. I'm like, good darn gracious. I'll be cussing, talking about God. You know what I'm saying? That thing. I'll be like, good darn gracious. This thing don't make no darn sense. So I already know. You know what I'm saying? We all out here just searching for something. You know what I'm saying? But we don't want to see. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us don't really want to see that thing that's real, though. That thing coming. Yeah, buddy. That thing, that thing feel a little too tight. You know what I'm saying? Make you feel. I mean, you, we've been exposed to the world. We do whatever we want to do. And then feel. And then we have we entitled to feel good about doing whatever we want to do. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like I can be like I can get out there and just be flamboyant. And you know what I'm saying? Get whoever I want and do whoever I want, do all this stuff. And that thing is honorable. You know what I'm saying? Most men and women now. You know what I'm saying? It was a time where, you know what I'm saying, like women, you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, ah, you might want to relax. Now it's like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Men and women, you, you got that and you, it's like, you say something about a woman now about being like that, and she going to come back at you and be like, what? What you trying to say? I'm claiming my womanhood. I'm owning my woman. I'm what you know what I'm saying? They hit you with some stuff you ain't never heard. And be like, well, dang, that kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You be looking like, yeah, why can't you do it? And why can't? Okay. You know what I mean? They got all tight. I mean, they they twist your butt up nowadays. They twist you up. They hit you with you know they hit you with some stuff. Be like, yeah, you know, go go do whatever you want to do. It's your business. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm like, yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? You be looking at that thing. All y'all butts going right to darn hell. The whore and the whore monger. That's book. What you gonna do with it? He going right to hell. You going right to hell. I mean, what you gonna do with it? You gotta accept that thing. It's an opportunity to repent. As long as you, you know, what I'm saying, taking a little breath. Most high God still got a little breath, and you still it's an opportunity to repent. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's bigger than it's bigger than this lust, man. It's bigger than all the stuff that we just got going on, being darn freaky deekies. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta sit down somewhere sometime. You know what I'm saying? Sit down and just, you know what I'm saying? Just understand the word. We got to think past it. Everything that we do, you know what I'm saying, that's worth something, you got to think further. You know what I'm saying? You go to school because, not because at the end of the year you're done. 
You go to school because, man, I just got to make it to the next year. Just to make it to the next year, just to make it to the next year, just to make it to the next year. Then eventually I'm going to graduate. And then after that, I'm going to go to college. You know what I'm saying? Like the ones who got the, the long, you know what I'm saying? Because my pop went to, my pop been in school since all his life. You know what I'm saying? Like my pop still go to darn school. Because, I mean, what he thinking about is like, man, it's just like I got an end game. I got an end game. I'm going to keep taking classes because I know this is going to get me this and this, that, and that. And it's cool. Right? You keep doing what you do. But that's how you got to think about it. It's like, what's at the end of it? You know what I'm saying? What's at the end of it? Our mindset can't be like that just for school, just for financial gain, just for security and status and all this stuff. When are you going to apply that same logic to God? When are we going to look at it and be like, okay, well, you know, I just got to stick it out. You know what I'm saying? I just got to, I mean, yeah, it's a little tough right now, but at the end of this thing, it's going to be real smooth for me. This is an investment. They tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Don't buy Jordan. Save your money. Okay, I'm with it. Don't sin. Save your soul. All of a sudden, that's just hogwash, though. That thing don't make no sense. What I want? This First John chapter uh, chapter one verse what? I want eighteen or eleven. I probably want eleven. I probably want ten. I want First John chapter one verse ten. What ten say? He that loves his brother abides in the light. Uh huh. He that loves his brother abides in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Uh huh. But he that hates his brother is in darkness. Mm -hmm. And walks in darkness and knows not where he goes, mm -hmm. because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Mm -hmm. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. He said, Our sins are forgiven us for his name's sake. Keep going. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. You've known him that is from the beginning. Okay. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. Okay. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. Uh huh. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Uh huh. I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abides in you. Mm. And ye okay. Have overcome the wicked one. Okay. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Yes. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Uh huh. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Okay. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. Little children, it is the last time, and as you have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. Mm -hmm. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would not. They would no doubt have continued with us. Mm -hmm. But they went out that might be made manifest they that are not with all of us. They mm -hmm. were not of all of us. That's fact. We got to understand that. Right? Always about the end game. Whether it's the positive or the negative, it's always the end game. If they went out, if they end up in hell, they were never with us. I mean, we can think. I mean, at the time, you know what I'm saying? You, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? We got, you know what I'm saying? Okay, for sure. They with us. We rocking. We just everything. That's why y'all don't see me crying and moaning with, you know what I'm saying, people in here. My, my, I'm always just thinking about the end. Who going to be here when it's up? You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't spend my time trying to keep everybody around and stuff. No, 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 no. All I can do is provide the word, provide you the encouragement when you're looking for it, pray for you when, you when you're around, when you're not around, and I ain't about to sit here and tell you every day I'm praying for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to do my praying for you whether you know it or not. And then at the end of the day, you either going to be here or you're not. Right? That's the only way you got to be. I mean, how else are we going to do it? You need help, I'm going to be there for you. If you've been here with us, no matter what, you need help, I'm going to be there. Right? But at the end of the day, you either going to be here or you're not. Right? And when I say here, I ain't even talking about in this, you know what I'm saying, in, in this spot, you know what I'm saying, or with us every Friday. When I say here, I'm just talking about serving the most high God. That's it. I can care less if you show up to Bible study. I can care less if you watch Bible study. I just want to know that you're serving the most high God. It just so happens I have a hard time believing that you're doing that when you're not here. You know what I'm saying? Just because I just know the nature of us. You know what I'm saying? I just know the nature of us. You know what I'm saying? If you are. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you are, that's good. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? It just so happens I just have a hard time believing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You want you 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 serving God, you want to learn and hear about God. You want to learn and hear about God, you gonna do a man that's teaching to hear him. And until you tell me, hey man, I found this other brother that be teaching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can believe it. I'll be like, okay, you oh, you've been going to the other brother. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, I understand. You know what I'm saying? You get you getting the word, you hearing it. I know that hunger is in you. You know what I'm saying? You just got multiple places to get it. That makes sense. 
Until I hear about that other brother, though. You know what I'm saying? That thing don't make no sense. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? You just took, you know what I'm saying, seven weeks off and you ain't even, that thing don't even touch you, huh? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. You don't know. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? My time, though, my time got to be focused on helping the ones that need it, helping the ones that want it, and, and helping my darn self. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I stay consistent. If I lose my darn consistency, I start to stop believing. You know what I'm saying? Got to stay consistent my darn self. All right? Keep going. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. Mm -hmm. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, mm -hmm. but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. I like all this, but I still wanted uh, chapter one. Oh, I'm not in chapter one? No, nah, that's chapter two. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, it's good, though. Everything we read was good. But give me uh, chapter one, verse 10. First, I was looking like, man, this don't sound like no darn chapter one, but I know that part, chapter two. If we say that we have no There we go. That's what I'm darn looking for. He said, if we say we have what? We have not seen. Mm, Christians make, love that thing. We make him a liar and his word is not in us. If we stand up here, can you know some Christians watch? How many people we got watching right this moment? Three? He said, one of the, at least two of the three right now was sitting there grinding their darn teeth. You know God said, we say that we ain't have no sin. We make God a liar. He up there making God a liar right now. You know they're saying that about me. Because that's what this day, right? Because I just told y'all that we can stop sinning, and the book say we got to stop sinning. Somehow I made God a liar by saying that when I read it from the book, right? Or when a man read it from the book, right? Let's see. I just want to make sure that we ain't contradicting. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the Bible contradict. Have y'all heard that before? I heard it before. Oh, okay. I, just, I mean, I heard it before, too. I'm still looking for it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, sometimes they say the Bible contradicts. Let's just make sure this ain't one of those times. Let's see. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. It's a sinned? Sinned. Oh. That sounds like past tense, huh? Yeah. Past tense. Mm. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, I don't know. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. But if you think about it, if the man says he remits, right, he gives you remission, for all sins that are what? Okay. And then if we were to tell, because he did tell us that all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. Okay. So then if you have everybody who fell short of the glory of God, he told us that. That's fact. And then we come back and be like, no, nah, I ain't fell short of the glory of God. Who do we make a liar by saying that? So it sounds like, I mean, just, I mean, just correct me if I'm wrong. It sounds like what this is saying is, if you say you have not sinned, and then by saying that, say that you have not fallen short, and you've never fell short of the glory of God, then that means you calling God a liar. Okay, read the next verse. Uh, my little children, these things write out unto you. No, yeah, this is... This is chapter 2, though. <laughs> that was the last verse? That was the last verse of 1. Okay, what, what, what verse is that? Uh, the last 10, verse of 1. 10. Okay, give me give me verse uh, give me verse eight. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And that the vinegar. Is not in us. <laughs> My fault. Go ahead. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Uh huh. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. I wonder. Okay, so I wonder which sins He gonna forgive? Cause we already heard from Paul that He'll forgive which sins? Past sins. Past sins. So he said, if we say we don't have sins, then we are deceiving ourselves. We lying to ourselves. Mm -hmm. But if we confess our sins, he's faithful to forgive our sins. Which sins? Past sins, because Paul already told us it's going to be the sins that are past. And then he comes back and he says, what? If we say that we have not sinned. And fallen short of the glory of the God, glory of God. We make him a liar and the word is not in us. It ain't no contradiction. It ain't no contradiction. Everybody sinned. Everybody fell short. And he'll forgive us of all them sins that are past. And then Peter, very clear, he tell us, now we have to, everybody who suffered in the flesh, oh, you cease from sin. To no longer live the rest of your life towards the lust of men. Right? You can come up to this point in your life. Okay, that's done. All that's wiped out. Live the rest of it straight. That's a deal. What do you think happens you go to court? You go to court. Okay, you go to court. You get like a ticket or something. They put you on like a payment plan or 
they tell you they want you to do traffic school. A lot of time, part of the provision is don't get no more tickets for this period of time. I mean, if you on a paper plan, you get another ticket, you know what's going to happen? They're going to compound them things. You're going to be guilty of the first one. Then you're going to sit here and play with your butt. But, I mean, if you don't get in trouble for this period of time, we'll wipe that thing off your record. You know what I'm saying? No points, no nothing. Could finish your traffic school. That's a deal. That's what he's doing. That's what this is. I'll get rid of the past. You just keep it straight for the future. You mess up in the future, your past still going to be there. It's important that we know this stuff. This stuff is not complicated. This stuff is easy. Now all we got to know is what exactly is a sin and what isn't. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We might not even talk about no law today. Somebody need it, huh? First John 3. First John what? Okay, let's grab First John 3. Brother said we got to... Brother said we got to drop. We got to grab First John chapter 3. What verse we want? Uh, what was that? 2018? 2018. Oh, so we probably want 6. 2018, good too, though. Whoa. Matter of fact, we're going to grab them just good. This First John chapter 3, verse 6. Watch what the book say. Whoever abides in him sins not. Uh oh. If you abide in Yahushua, guess what you're not going to do? Sin. Mm, let's see. Whoever sins has not seen him, neither known him. All you got to do is admit it. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Right? Just the same way Yahushua is righteous, you're going to be righteous if you do righteousness. In other words, if you do the right thing, then you are a right thing doer. It's, I mean, what he trying, he's trying to make it simple for everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like saying, he who drives straight is driving straight. Just as the person in front of him drove straight. Right? It's not like, it's not like a complex idea. He's just trying to, he's actually, he's actually talking down to people right now. You know what I'm saying? People don't catch what the book, book is doing right now. He's actually like, listen, it's very simple, guys. If you are right. You do the right things, just like he did the right things. Keep going. Watch this. Little children, let no man deceive you. No, he called them little children first. Little kitties. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand. Don't let nobody lie to you now. Keep going. He that does righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Okay. He that commits sin is of the devil. He said, if you commit sin, you are the Let me just make it very simple for you. It ain't no in-between. It ain't no like, oh, maybe... If you sin, consider yourself of the devil. Consider that you've never seen God and you don't know God if you sin. I don't care what you think you know. I don't care what your pastor told you. I don't care how long you've been going to church. I don't care how many right things you've done. I don't care how many bums you give money. I don't care how many people have done you wrong and you forgave them. I don't care. I don't care what you consider right amongst yourself. If you sin, consider yourself of the devil and also reckon it in your mind that you've never seen God and you don't know the man. It's safe if you do that. You may think like, oh, it's offensive and I can't believe that somebody would suggest that just because I slipped up and stubbed my toe and cussed one time that I don't know God. It may seem simple to you and that may seem like, like ridiculous. I want you to know we just read this from the book and it's safe for you. Like it's safe for you to have that mindset. You know what? I just stubbed my toe and I cussed. I've never known God. I did the whole time I thought I knew the man and I've never known him. That's safe. You can get somewhere with that. The most high God can work with that. That's humility. That's humility. That's not, when you see, when, the, when you read about that parable where you have the, the Pharisee that look up in the sky and say, oh God, thank you for blessing me with righteousness and thank you for blessing me with this and blessing me with that and making me not like this sinner. And then you see the man that won't even look up to God, right? Because he's broken and he's hurt. What that man who's not looking up is saying is I can't look. I've never seen the man and I don't know him. Don't let these people misunderstand. When they see that, they think they can pretend to be that man. They think, okay, well, if I pray looking down, that's not the point of what he's saying. He's trying to tell you I have no right to look up because I've never seen the man. I'm a sinner. The most high God can work with the man that's looking down. Just tell him the truth based off of what the book. I've never seen it. Look, I thought I knew God this whole time. I've been going to church, praising God, tambourine up. 
the usher always usher will always take me right to my seat. My seat the same. That's how long I've been going to this church. I've been doing the right things and all this stuff in my mind. Then I found out I sinned. Guess what? All that's for nothing. I never seen. I mean, I know a little bit about God, but I never seen Him, and I don't know Him. That's safe. Reckon it. I am of the devil. I sinned. Yeah, it feel uncomfortable. It feel like, wait a minute, that can't be faith. You feel like that. You feel like it's not faith for me to say I'm of the devil. Right? Then you being realistic. Not only that, guess what you believe in? That's faith. Right? They twist your mind up and think you just have to believe, you just have to believe that you that Jesus Christ died on the cross from your sin. You not not believe. You believe, look, by saying you are of the devil, you believe in that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin. I help you out. By saying that, you believe it. Trust me. You believe it more by saying that than by just walking around in your sin talking about, oh, well, I'm saved. You don't believe no book doing that. You don't believe he died for your sin doing that. That's crazy. Right? If you sit here and say, I, I sin, I'm of the devil. Now you believe, yeah, you believe in the book. You one step close. The next thing, all you got to do is stop sinning. And you in there. You know what I'm saying? You in there. Keep going. Watch this. For this purpose... The Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Uh-huh. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. Okay, so if you are born of God, that means you don't what? Does not commit sin. I'm a born again. I mean, you let them tell it. All of them are darn born again Christians. And then they sin it. I don't know how that thing works. I mean, but it's not like I made this stuff. I mean, it's his book. And no, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here in front. That thing is tight. Like, that thing is like, it got you like, Ugh. you know what I mean? That thing make you feel like, it make it close you in. Because it's like, whoa, it don't leave no wiggle room. Like, that thing, I, look, this is one of the ones. This is why I love going to this thing so much. Because this is the one I struggle with. I was like, I'm a logical person. So when I read this, I appreciated John. I was looking like, John, you made that thing real straight. You know what I'm You cleared a whole lot of stuff up in my mind. Now, here's the problem, John. That's a little tight. You know what I'm saying? That's a little, that's a little difficult. But then, just like we started, he said, broad is the way, right? But straight, though. You know what I'm saying? You want to make it into the kingdom? That thing is straight. You know what straight mean? Tight. That thing tight. Not a lot of wiggle room. You can't really do too much of nothing. You just got to make sure, you know what I mean? He's like, all right, well, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and make it on through here. That's how you got to do it. I mean, you want to just do whatever you want to do, you know what I'm saying? You're good. There's a whole lot of ways for that. You can go to the wide gate for that thing. But end up right in hell. Keep going. Watch this. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. He can't sin? Cannot see because he is born of God. So I'm just trying to figure out. So if you born, if you a born again Christian, and you still sinning, that I mean, I mean, let's just, I mean, because they'll put their hand on the Bible and tell you they're born again Christian, which I'm not gonna sit here and disagree with. You probably are born again Christian, right? But now let's just acknowledge that that's different from what the Bible talking about. That's all I be trying to do. I'm not trying to take away from like. It's cool. If you were born again Christian, be that. Like, I don't want to stop you from being a Christian. There's a lot of, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, like, history and values that have gone into that, and it might be important to you. So you do what you need to do. I'm just trying to tell you what the Bible talking about. I'm just trying to tell you, I'm just, I'm trying to tell you how to get into the kingdom of God. Based off of that kingdom of God, you can be a born again whatever you want to be, and your butt going to be in hell. You want to be born of God? then the books say you are not able to sin. So if you end up sinning, keep reading. In this, the children of God are manifest in the children of the devil. So if you end up sinning, in this, the children of God are manifest in the children of the devil. Keep going. Watch this. Whosoever does righteousness is not, whosoever does not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loves not his brother. It's very clear. He's trying to let you know. If you end up sinning, you are not of God. What does manifest mean? Obvious. Made obvious. When the book tells you anything it made manifest, he's trying to let you. This is how things are made. This is how it's made clear. This is how everybody's supposed to know. Right? When you do righteous, you're of God. When you sin, 
you're of the devil. It's supposed to be obvious because of that. But guess what they try to teach us? No, you never know. I mean, he's smoking crack and he on the corner. That might be an angel that you're talking to. Because you know what they try to do? They try to make everything not obvious. They try to make everything cryptic. They try to make it you never really know. It no, it's not. It's never. It's not supposed to make sense. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you. Maybe you were speaking to an angel. Just not an angel of God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find nowhere in a book where a crackhead. You got a crackhead just pop up to 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 uh to uh Abraham. Hey Abraham, you know you got some soup? No. Nah. The men came up. The men that came up to Abraham with three of them. Abraham saw them men. He knew he wasn't looking at them like, man, get your beggars out of here. Abraham didn't say that. Abraham saw he knew what he was dealing with. He was like, go, go cut up a goat. Immediately. He knew what he was looking at. We walked around. I was supposed to look at a crackhead, look at feel guilty at every crackhead. Like, man, maybe that's God. You lost your darn. That's confusion. Now, I'm not saying these people can't be helped. I'm not trying. To, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, don't be looking at these people like they God. Like God talking to you in the crack. I had a man when I was, I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? Everything was a touching thing. But you know my Christian self. I went to jail one night and the crack. Had, now, it was an experience. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I was talking to my barber. I forgot all about this thing. I was talking to my barber. And he, you know what I'm saying? he told me about the story and it reminded me of this one. Forgot all about this thing. One night. You know what I'm saying? Remember when we used to go to, you know what I'm saying, over there Jazz and them house? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember I went to jail that one time driving back. Jazz had to bail me out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, super. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never paid her back. That thing out of line. I might just, you know what I'm saying, come up with the money and pay her back. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? I went to jail and then I was sitting in jail. And I remember that same night I saw Matty O in there. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't be saying nobody's name. Go ahead. Go ahead, boy. Hurry up. Word been preached. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I went to jail. It was, this, it was a dude, you know what I'm saying? Crackhead on drugs. You know what I'm saying? He flipping out. Like it was like three police trying to hold him down and chain him to the chair. You know what I'm saying? I'm just now walking in. I'm like, oh doing here literally thinking like what am i doing here i sit down he flipping out and he just get real calm immediately look over at me you know you ain't supposed to be here right you know what i'm saying just look at me you know you know why you're here right and so i'm like answering them at least in my mind i'm answering them i don't really know you know what i'm saying but i'm like answering the man and then you know what i'm saying and then like after you get done kind of questioning me and then like in my mind i'm like i know why i'm here you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying i know i ain't supposed to be here this that and other after that get right back to darn flipping out I promise you, kid you not. You know what I'm saying? That thing freaked me out. My Christian tell, I'm looking at God was just talking to me. Look at God. Right? That's not how that thing. It took me reading the book to understand. That's not how that thing worked. When when Paul, we ain't gotta get it. But it when Acts, when Acts, right, when Acts, in, in the book of Acts, when Paul, when that lady was chasing down Paul, was she lying to him? What was she saying to him? I mean, she is walking around testifying, these men are the servants of the Most High God. What Paul turn around and do? So you get that demon up out of that woman. She walking around, just like we in church. These men are the servants. Was she lying? Get that demon up out of her. Just because something talk to you and they tell you the truth? Or it say something impactful to your life? That could be the devil darn talking to your butt. When, when Yahushua walked to Legion, you know what I'm saying? He walked to that man, you know what I'm saying? Had all them demons, and he said, my name is Legion. Yahushua asked him, what's your name? He said, my name is Legion, because there's a whole bunch of us in here. Then after a while, that thing was like, all right, just send me over there with the pigs. You know what I'm saying? What's he going to do with us? But Yahushua put them over there with the, with the swine. They ran, and they jumped off into the water. That stuff will talk to you. It'll be a, Listen, it's an experience. Don't get me wrong. This stuff is real. What we what we talking about in this book is real. It's a lot of people have an experience. That's why you can't walk up to nobody and tell magic ain't real or horoscopes ain't real. No, 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 no. That stuff is real. But your butt going to darn hell. Like you have to understand. Like it's a difference. I'm not telling you it's not real. I might the Christians might tell you that stuff don't exist. I'm not telling you that. I had a woman at uh at Alpine Village. I was walking through Alpine Village one time. That woman, that book. Oh, I mean that woman opened me darn up. She was like, I read tarot cards. That's to always creep me out. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. That woman started talking to me and telling me about my life and tell I was like, she's the darn real deal. That thing really creeped me out after that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen that woman again either. She had told me all about it all the time, and she was right. 
And she told me right before she started, she was like, yeah, I read, she's a regular girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's older, though. You know what I'm saying? Black lady. You know what I'm saying? No, I read tarot cards and all that. I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, well, that's cool. I don't, I don't really mess with that stuff. And then she just start rattling off. You know what I'm saying? Well, you do, you did this. And this is why you're here right now. You're about to go do this. And this is some things that's going to happen to you. Stuff that she said was going to happen never happened, though. You know what I'm saying? But everything that she said about my life, and I know she didn't know me. I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't doubt it for her. I know that thing is real. You know what I'm saying? I know it's real. Let me tell you what. I'm not seeking your services, though. <laughs> you won't get a dime out of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, be like, eh, I'm going this way. And I was a Christian back there, and I knew better than mess with her. You know what I'm talking about? This stuff is real. Let me sit here and tell these people that stuff ain't real. I'm telling these telling people they ain't experienced something. I had a brother, you know what I'm saying, talking about he he went up, saw an alien. I used to make fun of it, but you know, I used to make fun. I used to make fun of it, but he's crazy. But now, I apologize to him. You know what I'm saying? I was like, look, bro, you probably saw a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? You put, something probably took you up. All I'm telling you is that wasn't the alien. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't alien. You better leave that stuff alone or you'll better find yourself in hell. I used to, like, feel them in my sleep. Yeah. yeah. My mom used to tell me all types of stuff. You see, I ain't never, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never really had too many of them experiences. You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate the most I got. That thing freaked me out. like, hold me down in my sleep, but I couldn't move. Mm-hmm. Uh, scientists call it sleep paralysis, but I know what was going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff is real. Yeah. People, people have real experiences. You know what I'm saying? Real experience. At the end of the day, what you got to do? I mean, let's see. I mean, a demon holding you down in your sleep. And then somebody right next to you in the bed, in a different bed. You know what I'm saying? And nothing is holding him down. He just, I mean, he just get a quiet night's sleep. You got a demon holding you down all night. You can't sleep at all. When both of y'all get out of the bed for the next morning, what's different if you want to make it to the kingdom? You shut up and keep moving. What you talking about? What you want to do? I mean, I just got the hardest life. Everything work against me. Right? Everything work a darn against I mean, I just never. And this other person, rich. Everything handed to him, silver platter. At the end of the day, both of them want to make it into the kingdom. What they got to do? You got to obey God. It's not, it's not, listen, we can't get caught up on what other people going through and what we going through. At the end of the day, the goal is one thing for us. And everybody got to come in the same way. You got to obey God. You got to come in through the door. What are we going to kill time talking about anything else for? It's a waste of time. What do we want? Pick one. We can go We can go to Ephesians. We can go to Galatians. Or we can go to uh, Mark. All right. It's Galatians chapter 5. We told everybody that it's, you have to stop sinning. Now we got to tell them what the sin is. We're going to talk about the law tonight. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate the most high God. People need to hear the truth. People, I mean, I mean, we can talk about the law all day, and I love talking about the law. The law is good. But people need to hear the truth. Who's gonna tell people what they need to know to get into the kingdom? What they gotta do? That's our question, right? What must I do? I really want to get in. What do I have to do? All right, well, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it then. Let's hear about what we gotta do. It's Galatians chapter 5. I want verse 19. In Galatians chapter 5, on verse 19. <coughs> now the works of the flesh are manifest. Uh-oh, what manifest mean? Made obvious. The works of the flesh are made obvious. Why? <coughs> are these. Okay. Adultery. Adultery is obvious. What tr- well, let's break them down. I don't want nobody to be watching me like, I ain't never heard of adultery. What that mean? You grown up? You know what I'm saying? What I used to think when I heard first heard adultery, I was like, so that mean that you older. You know what I'm saying? No, adultery, what that mean? Uh, cheating on your spouse. All right? You cheating on your spouse. All right? You got a husband or a wife and you cheating on them. That's adultery. Your butt going right to darn hell. You don't repent, your butt going right to darn hell. It ain't no way out. Keep going. What's another form? Okay, okay. So, I mean, I ain't cheating on my spouse per se. What's another way of adultery? Yeah, he said that's adultery in your heart, right? But what's another what's another form of adultery? I mean, let's just say, I mean, I got a spouse. She made me unhappy. Divorce. We got a divorce, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? We went through our little problems. We got a divorce. So I'm free now. I went out, got me another woman. 
got me another man. That's definitely adultery. That's adultery. Same thing, right? Don't let nobody confuse you about these things. The book is very dead. clear. Gotta be dead. There's only one condition where you can divorce your wife. She did. And it ain't no in the book. I'm, I don't mean to be unfair, ladies. It ain't nothing in the book saying that a woman can divorce a man. That thing, it gave us, it give us one condition, though. That thing, only one. And the one condition is if you expected to get yourself a virgin. You know what I'm saying? Don't try, don't try to bend the rules now. If you expected to get yourself a virgin and then found out that she lied to you. That's one way. That's one way. That's about it. But ain't nobody walking around here virgin. Hey, you, you, can get, you can go ahead. This 2001. <laughs> and, we, and we wear. And a mayor wear. Okay, you can go ahead and kick that one out the window. You know what I'm saying? You, know, you know what I'm saying? Get that thing right out the door. You know what I'm saying? Don't even, don't even bring that thing to me. I'm like, oh, I don't believe it. Tell God, though. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Not me. I don't believe it. I don't make the decision, though. That guy do. But I don't believe you. You know what I'm talking about? Outside of that, your butt can't divorce. Any condition on which you do divorce, your butt is still married, and you going to cause her to commit adultery, and you going to be committing adultery yourself by sleeping with or marrying another woman. Oh, that thing is huge. Yeah, people only second and third huge. And stuff. I cringe when I hear people yeah. say my ex-husband. That, that, that one, that this, one, that, and I'll be like, oh. That, that, that one kind of makes me feel, that makes yeah. me feel pretty bad. Because all of them like, is like, I don't really have much. It's a way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The other one's a way out. This one, I got to tell you. I don't feel bad for you if you got a problem with fornicating. You stuck. But if you got a second wife, it's like. It's like homosexuality. And that one is tough for me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like homosexuality is like, I feel you. You're not, like, I understand. Like, you're not into, you know what I'm saying, what people say you're supposed to be into. I get it. And don't think just because I'm telling you about to go to hell that I don't empathize. Like, I, I really do get it. I can, under, I can understand it. I can, I can, like, imagine that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like, what if I'm really just not attracted to what I'm supposed to be attracted to, but I am attracted to what I'm not supposed to be attracted to? Like, it has to suck. And then if, you know what I'm saying, like, you just gotta be alone. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, same thing for somebody, you know what I'm saying, that got a divorce, it's like, listen, I know, listen, I know she's cool, like, you know what I'm saying, you divorce your wife, you met this other one, I know she's cool, like, I know you really enjoy being around her, like, I, do, I get it, <clears throat> that's a sin, bro. Now, if that happened, you in the clear, <laughs> don't go kill it now, because then we're going to get to another sin. But at that, I mean, look, I, I, I'll be honest. I've, I've honestly given the advice. Pray that she die. Pray that he die. I, that's funny, but I'm dead serious. That's your way, because that's your only way out. Don't kill him. But pray the most high God take their butt up out of here as a mercy to you. If you know you can't, if you're only, if you know I can't handle it. I, I'm, I'm out here. I got myself in this situation. She won't take me back. She don't want me. And I can't handle it out here. I know I'm going to end up messing up. If you know that, I would rather than I rather most I got take her in good health and, and, and perfect peace of mind and bring her into the kingdom. I'd rather her butt get darn taken and me go right into the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? With my new wife. You know what I'm saying? You can get you a new wife. That's fine. You just can't preach no word after you get you a new wife. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. I'd rather that thing happen. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather that for a brother. I'd rather that for a sister. You go ahead and y'all just, you know what I'm saying? I set them both down the room. Y'all just don't pray and each other die, do something. But if y'all get to doing something else, that thing done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that thing done. Y'all get together. All right, you know what I'm saying? Let's see who prayer reach God first. That thing, that thing done. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, you better hope I'm dead because you can't get nobody else. I'm just saying. That's all I'm <laughs> I come on back up. What happened? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what did you get him? Uh, what happened? Yeah, buddy, that thing messed me up. I don't know if I forgive God for that one. I mean, I ain't God. You know what I'm saying? Why you let her get somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Why you put that in the book? Goodness gracious. Yeah. It happened, man. I think, and it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough conversation to have, and it's a it's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? That. A lot of this stuff is just because we didn't know up front. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just yeah. jump in these relationships. We just don't know up front. I, mean, I just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I'm giving bad advice to people. You know what I'm saying? I, I've, I've been in situations where I approved 
of, of people marrying again just because I didn't understand the word at the time. I always felt guilty about that thing, man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? People lies in, lies in your hand. You'll see them things don't work out. Even if it do, though, man, that's even worse. You would hope it don't work out. You know what I'm saying? You get back to your first husband, you make that thing work. Get back to your first wife, make that thing work. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Be a unit. That's how that thing go. Be a unit for the kingdom. Say, that's, that's a book. That's adultery. Let's talk about it. What else? What else we working fornication. with? Fornication. Fornication. Mm, we know what fornication is, right? What's fornication? Having sex outside marriage. Mm-hmm. Right? So you're not married and you're having sex. Uncleanness. Okay. Uncleanness. Keep going. Lasheviousness. Lasheviousness. Them kind of go together, right? Just being dirty. You know what I'm saying? Lasheviousness just being, you know what I'm saying, just trying to just trying to induce lust. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to have lust. Like, lust is you looking at somebody. Lasheviousness is more like you are inviting people to lust over you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want people to look at you and lust. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That thing, too. That thing will get you. You know what I'm saying? Wearing them little little, little darn shorts, short skirts. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get out there and get all the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Posting these. You know what I'm saying? What they call them? Thirst traps on Facebook and all that stuff. <laughs> That's what they you know call what I'm saying? That's what they call them, thirst trap. You know what I'm saying? When a girl try to post that picture and they know that they ain't going to get all them comments and they ain't going to be like, oh, goodness, I don't know why all of these guys, they're just so dirty minded. You know what I'm saying? You, put, you know how they be acting, you know what I'm saying? Be trying to front like, I didn't want any of this. That thing be boosting their darn confidence all through the roof. You know what I'm saying? That thing, that's what they call the thirst traps. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. That thing, that thing is lascivious. That's a sin. All right? Keep going. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Idolatry. Hold on. It can't move too fast. Now, idolatry. Mm, it's a lot of that going on. It's a lot of that going on. We we were talking today. My boss was like, okay, icebreaker, guys. Team building exercise. What's your favorite animal? All right, so we start talking about Aaron. It's like, oh, that's Philip's spirit animal. I look down, I'm like, hey, you cut that, you cut that stuff out. I, say, I don't play that stuff. I don't play that with spirit. What? You cut that thing out. I don't play that stuff. What's wrong with y'all? You know what I'm saying? You have a favorite animal, huh? But I guess you could. I definitely got a favorite. I like, I like, uh, I like the, I like the golden eagle. That's funny. I like the golden eagle and the cheetah. Like dinosaurs too. I like dinosaurs too. What's wrong with the golden eagle? That's cracking. Animals getting killed is amazing. That's cracking. Right? It's a, it's a great it's a people at my desk, man. They be having all these idols, you know what I'm saying? Some be having the Buddha, some be having like these little rocks and stones all over their thing, little salt, salt rocks that glow and all that stuff. Well, it gives off good energy. I was like, yeah, that thing give off a whole lot. You go ahead and keep that thing that way, you know what I'm saying? That thing give off a lot. You don't know what it's giving off. Amorous rocks, huh? Man, they had a whole bunch of stuff all over the place. They were just, she just going to the like, you know, you want this? I was like, nah. Yeah. Wanna, nah. Yeah, you go ahead. Nah, I, pre- I appreciate the gesture. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you go ahead. You, know, like, you, you go ahead and keep all that, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, you might want to give it rid of it your darn self, but you know what I'm saying? You do what you want to do. Yeah, like, all these different little, like, you know, this, like, Amorous research. I was like, nah, I'm good. Like, yeah, that's yeah, so crazy. Yeah, that's so crazy. You know, like, what's your sign? I'm like, what's your sign? I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Be like, you know, just how you act, yeah, buddy. Like, like, you better cut that stuff out. Like, they, like, when they keep crying, that's when I hit them over the head. I'm like, no, that's not Dollar Tree. No, I don't do it. <laughs> they were like, they were like, oh, <laughs> like, I'm the crazy one. You know what I'm saying? Like, this guy. I'm trying to be nice. Yeah. I don't even want to say that. I'm like, oh, no, I don't. You know what I'm saying? What month were you born in? Fairy, oh, you Aquarius. You a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's a darn lie. You do know you're a sinner, right? <laughs> I don't even go that you know, far. You do know you're a sinner, right? I don't even go that far. I, nah, I, don't, like, I don't be uh, messing with them. I don't right. partake of those things. Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Oh, good. You guys have fun. I'm just going to yeah, go this way. Know. That's how you got to do it, though, man. You know what I'm saying? We look at these things, man. We, you know what I'm saying? Idolatry is real. You know what I'm saying? People wear the crosses on their on they chest. They got the crosses on their Bible. They got the dove. You know what I'm saying? Got the dove. Got the fish on their car. All that stuff is idolatry. How you how you make an image that represents God, or represents your faith, or represents anything of the sort? In the book, tell you make no images. 
I mean, how is it not I die? I'm just trying to figure it out. I don't care if you, I don't care if it has to do with God. It has to do with the God that told you not to do it. It's idolatry. Right? All that stuff is idolatry. The cross, the fish, the, the praying hands, the, uh, the uh, Jesus piece. The darn, the darn candles with, with Jesus, you know what I'm saying, the white Jesus on them, you know what I'm saying, little Mexican candles. All that stuff is idolatry. Go ahead. What the cross represent for him? Death. The curse. Right? He picked up the cross and what happened afterwards? He died. He's saying, follow me to death. That's it. It's very simple. The man's just telling you, I picked up the cross. After I picked up my cross, I hung on that thing and I died. When I picked it up, guess what it was? That thing was very heavy. In fact, somebody had to help me carry mine. You pick up something that's very heavy that you're about to die on. Let's go. Count the cost. That's all it is. Right? All right, it's important that we know this. All right, these, these are the type of things that we have to know. We have to internalize. You're not telling us to pick up. No, you're not telling us to go get no cross made at Jacob the jeweler. <laughs> Hang it around our darn neck. I'll tell you what it means, that they're going right to darn hell. I'll tell you what it darn means, right? But it's important. I mean, we just got to know. We, who going to know if we, if nobody ever told us, we, if we go based off of what we see, it's right. If we don't, if nobody ever taught us the book, who going who, who, who gonna to know? Whoever know this stuff is wrong. We walk around like this, you know what I'm saying? We see that and be like, oh, that's a godly man. Who going to know it's wrong? Right? Idolatry. What else? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Uh oh, you know what that's gonna get? Horoscope. That's gonna get your horoscopes. That's gonna get your tarot card read. That's gonna get your Miss Darn Cleo. That's gonna get your uh, what was the what was the white dude that had that TV show where he connected people to their dead they dead family members? You remember the white dude? He used to sit him down. It was the the the, uh, the the crowd was like in a circle around him. That creepy darn show. He would sit people down. He'd be like, okay, all right. What's her name? Okay, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay. Alrighty, so. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Shh. Everybody be quiet. I've never seen okay, she's coming through right now. She's coming. Do you hear? Alrighty, I'm gonna connect you. I'm gonna connect you with Josie. Josie's right here. I'm gonna connect you. Now I think they played them like on the speaker. Oh, I can't remember. I think they played it on the speaker. I was like, this. What is wrong with these dark people? I don't know. That thing might have been real. I can't speak on it. All I know is these people is darn crazy. Yeah. That thing is witchcraft. It's all had it done for him, but I think, listen, it's, it's real. I think it's real. I think it can be real. You know what I'm saying? All I know is these people darn crazy. You mess with that stuff, you can lost your darn mind. Don't have nobody connecting you to your, you know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't be praying to your, 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 uh, your, your, you know what I'm saying? Don't be talking about your ancestors are, are looking out for you and all that stuff. All that type of stuff, that stuff crazy. That's a tough one too. No. They sleep. Like you got a better chance of watching over them. Yeah. Than you, watching them. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got. <laughs> I don't know why they always trying to put us in there. That's how that thing goes. He called Samuel up. He said, why did you wake me? And the book clearly tells you no one ever ascended or descended from heaven, but the one that came from heaven. That's book. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, nobody dead, nobody's dead family members chilling in heaven looking over nobody. They in the ground sleep. Period. Y'all better cut that stuff out. You know what I'm 
I'm saying? Book tell us how to comfort ourselves. It said, it tell us, comfort ourselves. It said, comfort yourself, knowing that they aren't asleep. Uh, yeah, yeah by that witchcraft. Yeah. That's yeah, you like Sam, Samuel didn't come from heaven to talk to Saul. He asked me, why'd you wake me up? You know what I'm saying? He, wasn't, he didn't come from he heaven. He was that witch lady, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I did. Witchcraft, that thing sends you right to darn hell. All that stuff to get you. Right? The simple stuff for you. The biggest, the biggest thing that for, for witchcraft for us is that darn horoscope. Everybody, do that. Everybody messing with that darn horoscope. It seemed innocent. That thing seemed innocent. It feel like it's nothing. It feel like it's no big deal. It's just a joke. I don't even really believe in it. For sure, I've talked to a lot of people. All I'm trying to tell you is that's witchcraft. You play around with it. Your butt going to end up in hell. Take it from the book. Don't take it from me. Keep going. What else we got? Hatred. Hatred, right? Variance. You know what I'm saying? Variance. All these kind of go together. Hatred, variance, variance is just kind of being at, at variance with one another. You know what I'm saying? At, at, you know what I'm saying? Having differences. In other words, variance is like difference. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like having differences with one another where y'all going at it. You know what I'm saying? All these kind of, we gonna, he going to have like a, a few of them that all kind of go together. So hatred, variance, what's the next one? Emulation. Sedition. Oh, emulation. Emulation is like jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Same, all these go together. Keep going. Wrath. Wrath. Strife. Strife. Sedition. sedition. Sedition is like division. You know what I'm saying? It's saying all these go together. It's like, you know, all these go together. You know what I'm saying? It's like sedition is like talking about division, grouping up against one another. Heresy. And then this next one, heresy. That's talking about denomination. Right? So you're splitting yourself up. Right? Same thing these churches doing. All that stuff is the same thing. Right? We read it right here in the book. A lot of people, nobody's going to tell you what heresies mean. You know what they're going to tell you heresies mean? False doctrine. And it could be that, right? Heresies could lead to false doctrine, but heresies in itself don't mean false doctrine. You know what heresies mean? Denomination. It means that you just separating yourself. You 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 you're, you're creating a section for your own self, right? What you gonna do with it? If the books in here and tell you a denomination gonna send you to hell. You gonna walk into the uh, the Pentecostal denomination and say that's you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and go ahead and baptize me. That's what we do, though. That's our mindset. Like, that's all we deal with the denominations. And the book clearly is telling us it's wrong. Nobody's going to teach us, though. Nobody's going to teach us and tell us, oh, heresies is a denomination. That's a sect, right? S-E-C-T. Go look it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, gotta, I ain't, I ain't about to hear make nothing up. Go look it up if y'all think I'm lying to you. Go read how it's used in the Bible throughout the entire Bible, in the New Testament at least. Go use it. Go read how it's used. It describes denominations. The sect of the Pharisees. The That's a denomination of the Pharisees. The denomination of the Sadducees. That's what it is. We all believe in one God, but this is my own separate section of this belief. This is my own separate section of this belief. You have all them separate sections, and all y'all bus is going right to darn hell. Keep going. Envy. Envyings, right? That kind of go along with the same idea, right? You only got denomination. Why you got denominations? Because y'all everybody's the same? No. You got denomination because of differences, variances. You got denomination because of envyings, emulations, jealousy, right? You got denomination because of hatred. I hate what Cal the Calvinists did. I hate how the Calvinists believe it. Now we Lutheranians. <laughs> Luther Vandross. You know what I'm saying? Luther Vandrians. <laughs> Aretha Franklin's. You know what I'm saying? Let her get some rest. That was too soon. That was too soon? Her name was just on my mind. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Things unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Most of our God let her bless her with some good music at least. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Online. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she found the most high God. I don't, I don't necessarily believe. I ain't going to put my, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to put my life on the line saying she found the most high God. But that'd be nice to, you know what I'm saying, nice to find out one day she did find the most high God. She had been quiet, nobody had messing with her, and she had serving the most high God the best way she know how in a way that was acceptable to him. That'd be nice to think that. I wouldn't bet no dollar on it, though. You know what I'm talking about? I just, you know what I'm saying, it's just, it's just night because we don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Three marriages. Oh, that got that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she, you know what I'm saying, the last, she wasn't in one when she died, was Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, hopefully, holy man just left. You know what I'm saying, sometimes God got to, because sometimes God got to put you in a position where the other person make the decision for you. You know what I'm saying? Like you be in a tight position. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully a man just was like, uh-uh, you don't satisfy me no more and just I'm left her. You know what I'm saying? She had her heart just broken. 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe she just served God after that. And you know what I'm saying? He ended up saving her darn life, I believe. Sometimes most of I got to let it work out that way. For, sometimes we ain't strong enough to make the decision ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Something got to happen. Nobody know. You know what I'm saying? We can take a few ways. I ain't, I ain't gonna bet no dollar on it. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna take no wager on it. But you know what I'm saying? You never know. We'll see when we get out there. You know what I'm saying? When everybody start getting resurrected, most I say, get your butt up here. You know what I'm saying? Turn your butt around. Then we'll know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then we'll know. Let's keep going. Uh, murders. Mm. Don't be killing nobody. All right. That one's self-explanatory. All right. Drunkenness. Uh-oh. That's the one. It's the tough one. It's the tough one. Now, let's be very clear. You can have yourself a glass of wine. I mean, let's be even more clear. You can even have yourself a shot of Hennessy if that ain't going to get you drunk. It's some people, a little shot of Hennessy, they going to be... You know what I'm saying? You know, back in the day, we used to you know, be turning them things up. Yeah, some people be like... I'd be like, one darn shot. Yeah, but we make money they buy here and wonder, you can't have no now. According to the book, your butt can't have no shot of Hennessy. You know what I'm saying? You might just want to smell it or something. You know what I'm saying? You might leave that thing alone. But it just just being technical, because I don't want nobody to misunderstand or create no, you create your own, you do what you want to do. You can have you a beer. You can have you a wine. Whatever don't get you drunk, you just tickle your tongue with it. You can do whatever you want. What I'm going to say to you is, if you're not trying to get drunk, then why? Don't drink anything. Right? If you're trying to get drunk, your butt going to hell. If you're not trying to get drunk, what's the point of drinking some Hennessy? What's the point of drinking the wine? What's the point of drinking the beer? The only one that actually might have an actual point is wine. Yeah, because it's taste. But then the question is, what's the difference? Look at my wife trying to get drunk. No, Let me hear about it. You t- yeah, you know said. Listen, Some you. Are like very in my feelings. I'm gonna sit and they gotta dance on that line if they want to, right? I can't tell you where that line is. I know God know where it is. I'm not about to play. That's why me personally, I'm not playing with the line. I don't want nothing. To, I drink some darn lemonade. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Buddy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I want to do when I when I want to calm down, I want to relax after day work. I lay my butt in the darn bed. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I ain't about. Look, y'all, y'all, everybody play this stuff. Sip a little tea if I need to. You know what I'm saying? That chamomile, that thing made me a little sleepy. You know what I'm saying? That chamomile, I'll be like this. You know what I'm saying? That thing, all right. Let me tell you something. I'm going to relax. I'm going to find some way to relax. And it's going to be a lot better than playing with the line. Now, now let's, say, let's say I got sick. And somebody told me wine to help me out. Man, I'm drink a little wine. Right? Paul told uh, Timothy to drink a little wine. He said, for that stomach issue, don't just drink water. Drink a little wine. Right, so it ain't wrong. Anyway, I'm not trying to sit here and tell you, drink a little beer if you want to. Do whatever you want. Pour some beer on your steak. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tell me, yeah, put this. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to marinate it in that, but I appreciate the suggestion. That's just not. Now, now am I going to get drunk from eating steak that's marinated? No. No, of course not. Right? You put that thing on the fire, going to eat it up. It's just the principle for me. We good. Right? We good. It ain't wrong. If I eat a steak tomorrow with some beer marinade, it ain't wrong. If somebody pours some beer in my cup, I sipped it. That thing ain't wrong. All I'm sitting here trying to tell you is it ain't no reason to play with the line unless you're trying to get drunk. In my opinion. That's me talking. That's not God. The, the word itself says drunkenness is a sin. So being drunk, if you break down what that word is, it's intoxicated. So you know what else I get? Smoking darn weed. Popping darn pills. I don't care if they prescription or not. If you popping them for the pleasure of being high or drunk or feeling a certain way, other than it serving the medical need that it gave you, that thing on the line, even the one, even the one that give you a, that you're serving the medical need, you you playing with the line, in my opinion. I don't mess with that stuff. I don't mess with that stuff. They gave me, I had, you know what I'm saying, I had, I had, uh, I had that darn, uh, what's it called? Vertigo. I had that darn vertigo-like thing. It wasn't really vertigo, but it was something like vertigo where I was all dizzy. They gave me this strong cough syrup. I don't know what's wrong with them people. They gave me this strong cough syrup, and that thing was bad. I ain't never had no sickness like that. So I'm sitting here struggling. I'm like, goodness, I hate feeling like that. I hate being sick. So I'm like, I hate feeling like this. 
So I usually don't take no medicine. They gave it to me. I was like, I ain't, I ain't taking no medicine. Not because I knew it was strong. I was just like, well, they did say it was codeine, so I hear about the rappers all the time talking about it. So, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what I'm saying? Not because, you know what I'm saying, I knew it was strong. It was just because, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I just don't want to take no medicine. That thing got to a point, I was like, listen, I'm about to take this medicine. I need this to go away. I took that thing. I was so high in my bed. I was looking like, oh, I was super high in my bed. Just off a cap of that thing. I said, there's no reason they should be giving this to anybody. I poured that thing down my door. I let it sit for a little bit. I think my wife, what'd you tell? I think she, she was like, why are you just letting it sit up there? And I thought about it. I was like, you right. I can't give it away. You know what I'm saying? And if I leave it up there, it ain't no reason because I know I ain't going to mess with it. Poured that thing right down my darn sink. I think I paid like 80 bucks for that darn, darn thing, too. I don't know how much I paid for it. It was a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? I poured that thing right down my sink. It's worth it. It's worth it. I let that thing not get in nobody else's hand. That's one less person that's a sinner. Potentially. I don't know. They might go somewhere else and get whatever they want. All right, go ahead. So my questions are for medicinal purposes. Uh -oh. I understand. But then you go to a dentist. You smoke a little bit of Mary Joanna. With laughing gas. Oh, no, yeah, you uh, good with that. When you have the C-section and they got to touch you all up with the epidural and stuff. Yeah, you, you good with that. Me. Your butt, her butt was darn high with that epidural. She might have he might enjoyed that thing. She is living down with that. She is with the bed. She's like, oh, babe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got the, they got the little curtain right here. They got the curtain right here. She's like, oh, babe, give me a kiss. Oh, you better cut that little freaky dicky stuff. They got you cut wide open right now. I'm trying to freaky dicky with me right now. You better cut that thing out. I'm grossed out. You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh. Do you smell that? I'm like, yeah, it's your flesh burning. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? You nasty. Yeah, her butt, her butt don't hide. Your butt might be on the way to hell, so I don't know. Now, yeah, now that's good. So we know that's that clear medicinal purpose, right? It ain't like we chose. It ain't like it ain't like nobody going to go. Oh, I'm about to go get me a C-section. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That thing. You going at that clear medicinal purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's that thing. That thing different. You know what I'm saying? It's just the stuff that we use in recreation. You know what I'm saying? To try to, you know what I'm saying? Make ourselves feel a certain way, just based off of like, you know what I'm saying? Personality or just based off of mood or anything like that. Yeah, some of they lying butts be, you know what I'm saying? Some of they lying butts, you know what I'm saying? They, they be saying all types of stuff. They butt just getting hot. Now, I don't know. That's just me talking. I don't know. Maybe they are having panic attacks. Got to judge all this stuff. I'm just going to give you my opinion. My opinion is your butt just getting hot. And maybe I'm just trying to be tight just so the next person don't see what you're doing, get the wrong idea, and then he just get high. I don't know. All I'm going to tell you is I believe your butt might end up in hell. But got to judge it. You know what I'm saying? You do what you got to do. If you know it's medicinal, don't, don't let me tell you what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? All I'm trying to tell you is you flirt with that line if you want to. Right? You flirt with that dark. That's what we do. We love, we love to get close to the line. We love to get as close as possible to that line. And then when we slip, it's like, oh, I slipped. I feel so bad. No, nah, your butt slipped because you've been dangling out there on it. The road already narrow. Why are you going to try to walk to the edge of the narrow road? That don't make no sense. Put yourself square in the middle of it. As far away from sin as possible. That's how you make it. That's how you get in. We can all get in here. It ain't not one of us that, that, that has to go to hell. We can all get in here. All we got to do is just take the precaution. Be circumspect. Circumspect just means you watching. You know what I'm saying? You looking all around. You making sure anything that come, any direction, you ready for it. All right? You can't do that if you plan on the edge. You can't do that if you're not sober. All right? Keep going. Drunkenness. That get all intoxication. Including weed, pills. Revelings. Revelings, right? That's the parties. Right? That's the drinking party. That's why those go together. You know what I'm saying? At the drinking party, you going out, you know what the people you know what the people say. I mean I'm social drinker. I mean, I'm just going. I'm not I don't I'm not gonna drink. I'm just going to the party. That's why every time, you know, I get invited somewhere, you find a whole bunch of drinking going on. It's all right, you know, there's a couple people in the corner drinking. It ain't gonna bother me too much. But the whole like everybody sitting here drunk. Oh, yeah, this just like, eh, yeah, not the place for me. I don't want to get caught up in that stuff. I don't know. I don't, I'm not playing with that line either. Like, it's reveling only a sin if I participate in the drinking or if I'm just standing around enjoying people who's drinking. Like, is that part of, 
I'm not going to find, you're not going to let me be the, the one to find out which one is the sin or not. I'm going to tell you what's the sin for me. The whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be out there. Y'all enjoy, have fun. Y'all get to doing too much drink. Just like when we was at the 4th of July, all them drinks are going up. Brother was like, uh, yeah, I think we about out of here. I'm like, yeah, I think so too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right out the way with you. I think soon them shots start going up. Shot, shot, shot. Yep. Bye, bye, bye. Next time. You know what I'm saying? I'll be at the kids' party. That's how I go. With the kids' kid birthday party. I'll see y'all later. They drink at the kids' party, too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the things, you just got to leave at a reasonable hour. You know what I'm saying? It, when that when that sun start going down, that's when they just can't help themselves. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yeah. all the time in the daytime. Yeah, in the daytime, they all right. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. catch them before they start smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? Be like, all right, yeah, we good. Then, you know, they stretch that. They start itching a little bit and they don't smoke enough weed. They try to act like weed ain't addictive. They but be addicted to weed. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? You catch them before they smoke out of respect for, you know what I'm saying? They won't smoke some weed. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They chill. Then, you know what I'm saying? Too much start happening. Too many people start coming over. They're like, all right, man. I appreciate you, man. Don't let me stop y'all from doing yeah, what I had I a, do. Yeah, I had a good time. Far right. be it from me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Far be it from me. You know what I'm saying? With little old me. Don't stop what you got to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. You got a nice little paved way to hell. You know what I'm saying? Let me get out your way. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and move out this way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, me too. Me too, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My family will light up with all the kids right there. You know what I'm saying? I have my sons, you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking like, yeah, that thing get on my nerve right there. So I'll be like, yep, yeah, let's go and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? This ain't my thing. Y'all but stay in the house and say hi to everybody, and we're going to go and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? They ask why I don't come around. Listen. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Y'all want to know why I don't come around. Tune in on Fridays. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, tune in on Friday. Y'all find out. Down my door to come see me, bro. Nah, not at all. You know what I'm saying? I don't touch this though. Nobody. I told my auntie. My auntie called me. I just want to know how you learned the Bible. Like, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? To learn the Bible. I said, Oh, auntie, don't even worry about it. Just come on through. She like, No, but I just. I mean, I just wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted. Like, what study tools you use? I was like, I can show you, auntie. Let me. I'll tell you. I'll come to you. You know? Like, okay. Oh, uh, but no, don't come right now. I'm gonna call you. In a, in a little bit, because I got to see what I'm doing today. I was like, okay. That was a couple months ago. I ain't got to call yet. <laughs> That's my auntie. I love my auntie. But I'm just, I mean, I just got to be honest. I just want you to know. That my I love my auntie. I just want you to know. These people ain't darn crazy. They know. They, it's, it's one thing to be like, okay, I just want to have like the door open. So just in case I jump into it, I'm in there. Then to just say, I'm walking through that door. That's what a lot of people just want to make sure the door still open. You know what I'm saying? So they keep people in their life. Okay, how did you do it? You know what I'm saying? Let me, you know what I'm saying? You, well, no, 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 no. Don't show me. Don't show me now. Stay over there now. I'm just saying, like, if the time was right, what do I need to do to do that? But I didn't, no, 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 not right now. No, time ain't right. Time ain't right. That's what's happening. Oh, no, that's what they do. They just, it's just like pieces, right? That's just, that's all it is. It's just pieces. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, I want you in my life. I want you not too close now. You stay right where you are. But if the time become right, you're who I'm running to. That's why it's important for us. It's important for us be, to be consistent. There's a lot of people, they run their mouth. I talk to people all the time. They run their darn mouth and all this stuff, but they watch everything. They watching everything that I'm doing. They watching everything that's happening on my Facebook. And they see, and I bump into them, and I don't even know they on my Facebook page. I never heard, you know what I'm saying, never interacted with it. They never sent me a comment or nothing. But then we get into a conversation. Man, I'm just going through something. And I saw your post, man. This, that, and other. That post was from two years ago. Right? And you look at, they watching. They watching, they watching. You, they watching. Me, all they want is they want to see consistency. Because when the time is right, in their mind at least, when the time is right, they coming. That's all, every, in all they mind. The ones that have just a little bit of a conscience, that's what's in all they mind. When the time is right, I'm going to come. A lot of them that watch, you know what I'm saying? You see this thing, that number go up and down, up and down. All the, A lot of them tune in. They tune in for a little pizza. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Okay, that thing getting too real. Click. You know what I'm saying? They, but they just, they, they tune in for a reason. They not tuning in. They not tuning in because they ain't nothing to do on Friday. They tuning in because it's just like, man, okay, that thing real. Mm, too real. So when the time is right, I know who to go to. It's Las Vegas. You can do a whole lot of stuff. You know what they think? Some of them is out doing it. Some of them is out, and that thing hit their cookie. You know, it's in there. I know some of them is out. Ah, shot, shot. Ah, ah. Oh, man. Mm, whoa, drunk in the, mm. ah, ah, just like that. So when the time is right, they know, okay, look, I need a little bit of help. Feel more of what's going on. That's 
the, but that's our responsibility. That thing, I mean, we can make fun of them and all that stuff, but that's our responsibility. We have to be a shining light to people. We can't get frustrated because people don't want to tune in or don't want to come to Bible study. That stuff is that stuff is vain. That stuff is pride. If we get frustrated because people don't want to listen to me or don't want to listen to T or don't want to listen to you or don't want to move the way we move when we move, that's fine. Definitely tell them move the way we move when we move. Right? That's our message to them. But when they don't do it, that's on you. Right? You'll come if the most I got give it to you, you'll come. And if not, your butt going to darn hell. What I'm going to stress out for? I'm trying to get into the kingdom. Your butt either going to come where I'm going. Everybody who's going to make it is going to come the same way we're going. If we're going to make it. Everybody who's going to make it is going to go the same way. It ain't going to be no different way. So if I'm, let's say I'm here right now. You got to come where I am if I'm making it. Now, no matter what. And I don't mean physically where I'm. I'm not talking about to this Bible study. Now I'm just talking about in terms of our mindset and how we obey God. You have to come to that same spot if you're going to make it. Everybody who's going to make it going to make it the same way. So why am I going to sit here and shift my position to try to please somebody else? That doesn't make sense. If this is the way to be saved, then this is the way to be saved. You coming this way or you going to hell. Let me be consistent. At least you'll know where to come to. At least you have, at least you have some... We, nobody has anything real. Nobody has anything that's right to watch. Why can't we be that for a few people? I mean, we can't cover the whole world, but let's just be, I mean, we can be that for a, a small section of Las Vegas. Why not? And maybe we can get a couple people on that got connections to somebody, and they can be that for some other people. But it takes consistency. People just got to be able to see it. All right? They got to be able to see what's going on, like how, you know what I'm saying, how you live it. And this helps. All right? There's a little help. You know what I'm saying? When we out and we talking to people, it's a little help. We ain't got to be ashamed of what we own. Tell these people. Tell them, this is what I believe. This is what I rock with. This is why I don't do that. This is what I learned. This is how I learned. This is who teach me. You know what I'm saying? This is the book I read. This is what I was reading yesterday. Are you interested? No. Oh, okay, that's cool, too. I'm not interested in what you're talking about, either. We can go play pool. You know what I'm saying? We can go play Monopoly. We can, we can keep this thing completely. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. We can still be friends. You ain't got to be interested in what we're talking about. I'm just not doing your foolishness, and you're not doing my foolishness, like apparent to you. Weird if you make it weird. It's only weird if you make it weird. Make it weird. I can care less. Right. Your butt burning in hell tomorrow is all I care. And we still, I'm still going to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, we still good. I still got to work with you. Right. You still my family. Do what you got to do. All right? But at the end of the day, we just got to make sure we stay consistent. Because if we can't stay consistent, then in a world of turmoil where everything changes and everything's turning and everything gets hard, then it gets good, then it gets hard, then everything's just going up and down for them. In that world, as they spinning around in circles, it's like, it's like this thing right here. I can spin around in circles a million times, but that thing going to be in the same spot. So when it comes time, you ever try to like, you ever been dizzy? You trying to like focus and balance? What you need to look at? You ever like stood on one foot? You know what I'm saying? In gym? And what did they tell you to look at? They used to tell me, it'd be like, look at some spot on the floor or look at that rock or something. You look at something that's not moving. And guess what? That helps your balance. You think the word any different? Your butt spinning around, what you gonna be? You're gonna be like, man, my eyes all over the place. Let me focus on that. That's the man of God. That's the woman of God. They walking towards where God is. If I focus on them, and as busy as I am, try to get myself to where I'm moving in their direction, eventually I'll grab them. And when I grab them, I'll learn how to walk on my own. And eventually I'm reaching for God now. That's what we got to be. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. What else we got? And such like of the which I tell you before. Uh-oh. So he just got done listening to all these sinners. And what he said, of the which I tell all these sins rather. And of the which I tell you before, and what? As I have also told you in time past, they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Yo, but going right to hell. I had somebody tell me the kingdom of God is like the kingdom of Jerusalem, but you'll be welcome outside. Like, yeah, I heard that one too. That was crazy. That, that tripped me out. I was like, what? I heard that. That one's tough though, right? And this is the reason why it's tough. Because somewhat, you know, all these lies are always somewhat true. Somewhat is true, right? Because you are going to have the kingdom, right? And then, and then you're going to have people who have not died, but also were not resurrected, 
who are living outside. But have you not read the fate of those people when they get deceived? Exactly. All right? Exactly. That's the difference, right? All them people going to darn hell at the end of it. You know what I'm talking about? All them people are going to be riled up to come against God and his people at the end of it, and they going to darn hell. Is that what you're trying to compare yourself to? No matter how you, how you slice and dice that thing, God is covering yourself. Just do right. You would, ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy that you would rather look at that and figure out how you still fit not being into the kingdom rather than just say, you know what? Let me stop getting drunk. Right? It's easier for you to be like, no, see, just because you're not in the kingdom now don't mean that you're going to hell. That's easier for you to try to find some middle ground than to look at that and be like, oh, the message is to try and tell me I need to stop sinning. That's how, I mean, that's how hard-headed we are. That's how hard our hearts are. You know what I'm saying? That we'll come up with anything. All right? But that's it. Y'all want to know what it takes to make it into the kingdom? There's a start. Stop all those things. Everything we talked about tonight, stop. Completely stop. Not just like, okay, I stopped for a couple weeks or I'm doing really good with it. Stop for the rest of your life. And let's just say, I mean, I told myself I was stopping for the rest of my life and then I slipped up and did it again. Guess what? At that point, I never knew God. I was a liar when I said I was going to stop for the rest of my life. I never seen God. Okay, for real this time, I'm going to stop. And if you mess up again, guess what you need to do? Okay, both of them times before when I said I was going to stop, I was a liar. I never knew God. I'm a wretched darn sinner. I'm going right to hell if I don't. Okay, for real, I'm going to stop this time. Just don't get to a point where it's like, okay, I stopped. I mean, I slipped up, but God still loved. Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I mean, I still love God, but I, I mean, sometimes I just make. Don't do that. Tell the truth. You've never seen the man, and you never knew the man, and you don't love the man, and the man don't mess with you. He's walking contrary to you, and you walk contrary to him. Just admit it. You admit that, you're in a good place. It may not feel good. It's not supposed to feel good. It may seem counterintuitive, but that's where you're in a good place. Come on over here, boy. Black boy. Black boy, come here. Come here. Any questions? Let's pray out.